Hey guys, the objective of this video is just an introduction to the strength interaction diagram. We're going to be looking at what the different points mean, and we're going to look at a little picture of the diagram. So, here's the strength interaction diagram. Now, the strength interaction diagram plots moment against axial load. Okay, so moment against axial, and it looks like this. Now, there's several key points of interest along the strength interaction diagram. Just to show you, show you the section we're going to be working with, the section we're working with in our video, um, in, the, in the example to come, is going to be a section like this. We have three layers of steel. Now, because most of the steel is at the bottom here, that's going to be where the tensile steel is, because we need more steel for tension, and the compressor will be at the top. Okay? We're also going to say that our yield stress of steel is 600 MPa. So, the first point is the squash load. The squash load, I literally just think of a column being crushed, okay? So it's got a uniform strain across it of the column being crushed, and there's no moment. So that's going to be the first point we need to find. Once again, I'm not going to really talk about how to find them. We're going to be seeing that in the example. The next point is the decompression point. The decompression point is when we have zero tension and um, compression of point 003. Okay, I'm talking all this outside the code. This is all in the code. So that's the decompression point. The balanced nominal and balanced actual. So the balanced nominal is when we have 0.003 strain in the compression and we have a strain of 0.0025 in the steel. Okay, so that's a given strain of 0.0025 for the balanced nominal. The balanced actual is when we just need to find the strain in the steel. Okay, the yield stress, the yield strain in the steel. Now the code assumes that all the steel is 500 MPa steel, okay? So what that means is that if we were to use the formula stress equals strain times elastic modulus, the strain is the stress on the elastic modulus. For 500 MPa steel, the yield strain is 00 .2, 00 0.0025, okay? Which means that the balance actual and the balance nominal is the exact same point when you're dealing with steel, which is yields at 500 MPa. So let me repeat that to make it clear. The balance nominal gives us a strain of 0 0.0025. So it tells us the strain in the steel should be 0 0.0025, whereas the balance actual tells us the strain in the steel is at yield. So once again, for 500 MPa steel, which is what the code is based on, 